Good morning, friends. Welcome to Shekhan Pre-Market Roundup. Firstly, on the global front, the global markets are mostly flat to positive. On the U.S. markets front, Dow was down by around Dow uh, index was down by around 25 points, and Nasdaq was flattish. Now, let's have a look at the domestic news flow. Good morning, friends. Uh, friends, uh, yesterday we have seen we started on a flat note, and we have seen a very good buying. Uh, uh, on the back of majority of the good participation in the heavy weights, we have seen a very good buying interest coming in in Tata Steel, overall metal sector, capital goods, uh, EDAG pack and telecom stocks. Uh, friends, uh, on the option side, what we have seen that 5,800 put continue to add good number of shares in open interest. Overall, on the call side, we have seen around 24 lakh shares unwinded and on the put side, we have seen around 23 lakh shares added. Uh, now, pushing the put call ratio to 1.12 point <coughs> to 1.12 from 1.05. Uh, on the implied volatility front, we have further seen that the IB has uh, spurted by around no, 8 to 10 percent on, uh, on account of the expiry today. So, no, it, all these things is clearly indicating that no, we might see sharp intraday whip shows uh, today. But overall bias, as we have finally closed well above 5,900 levels, so overall bias seems to be uh, positive and no. On a higher side, 5940-5960 can also be targeted uh, in today's trade. Uh, as far as you know, stock specific actions are concerned, you know, yesterday we have recommended a 230 call option of uh, bail. We still continue to buy uh, that particular strike. Apart from that, even Punjloid 60 call option is looking good. One can accumulate this counter in the range of uh, yesterday's close around 50 paisa. So one can accumulate around 40 to 60 paisa and uh, with no stop loss. And I am expecting that you know, uh, Punjloid has a potential to expire somewhere above 61 levels. We have listing of PC jewelers today. The listing price is expected to be somewhere between 125 to 135 rupees. On other news floor, news front floor, government has approved disinvestment in RCF by 12.5 percent. This will fetch around 360 crore rupees to the, uh, to the exchequer. Interest uh, subsidy intervention of 2 percent has been extended by another 2 percent for exporters because of uh, slow export growth, which has been visible. Also, there is additional 2% uh, intervention for engineering sector which has been lagged since the global slowdown. On stocks news front for Reliance Industries has got a breather. The Rangarajan committee has said that there is no need to audit all the oil blocks which has been allotted to Reliance. As the government, as they have been governed by different contractual regime. Action to be taken is long on Reliance with a stop loss of 811.50 for a target of 852 to 870 rupees. Second news flow, NMDC is eyeing a field in Brazil, the world's second largest producer of iron ore. If this deal fructifies, this will be second uh, big deal for NMDC. Action to be taken is long, NMDC with a stop loss of 157 rupees for a target of 165 to 168. Closing price is 160 rupees. Balram Purchini. Balrampur is, news, is in news because the government is planning to remove quantitative restriction on sugar export and import and will be tariffed to regulate trade as part of a new liberalized policy for the sector. Action to be taken is long Balrampur Chini with a stop loss of 48.35 for a target of 51 to 52 rupees. Nalco will be shutting down about 3 to 4 percent of its aluminium capacity because of shortage of coal. Action to be taken on Nalco is uh, go short with a stop loss of 50.5 for a target of 48 to 47 rupees.